Yo, what's up everyone, Ufo here, and today I'm bringing you guys some top ladder gameplay. As you guys can see, right now in the world, we are placed 850th. On the local leaderboards, we're actually top 5, which is pretty impressive. And we're going to be playing some ladder today, pushing up hopefully. And I'm going to be showing you guys the deck I've been using, and just having a ton of success with. I really hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. If you guys do, make sure you guys leave a like. Leaving a like always really helps out the channel. It lets me know you guys enjoy the videos. Also, while you're down there, if you guys could Subscribe, that'd be awesome. And without any further delay, let's hop right into it. We have a magical chest here. I'm just going to open it. Hopefully, we can get a legendary or a champion. That would be awesome. But we get gold to begin with. We then get six common wild cards, six minions, three goblin hearts, 30 teslas, some rascals, some barbarian hearts, and expo. That is a terrible chest, but that's whatever. And yeah, the deck we are using on ladder right now is currently this deck here. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, RG, that's not a very skillful win condition, but this deck's win condition condition isn't the RG, it's actually the Skeleton King. Very quickly, I'll show you guys my log and what I'm going up against. So here we played Zap Bait, here we played Splash Yard, we beat Gollum, we beat three Musketeers with the Hogs. We're also beating Pega Bridge Spam with this deck. So let's hop into a battle here and I'll show you guys how this deck works. Okay, so we are into a game here and first play of the game, you want to be very neutral. You don't want to overcommit, you don't want to just play an RG at the bridge. Luckily, this guy made the first play with a Bandit, so we are just going to play a Skeleton King. I'm also just going to play a Skarmy on top of this bandit just because he has to deal with the Skarmy and then he has to deal with a fully charged up Skeleton King. Going to use the Skeleton King ability here and I think this guy's the Mega Knight Ram Rider deck so this is actually a very good example of the deck. This is very popular right now in the meta. Going to split Zappies here. Obviously it's going to activate the Ghost and then Fisherman down low. Fisherman should pull in the Mega Knight. The Queen used the ability and it locked onto the tower. That's unfortunate. Yeah that's a lot of damage but that's fine. RG at the bridge. This guy doesn't have a ton of elixir there's the bandit there's the ram rider we are just going to scar me and really this should take it out and we're going to get some very nice damage on his tower now so taking a very dominant lead after that start he goes with a royal ghost as well we are just going to play a skeleton king here Skeleton King actually has splash damage, so it's going to hit the Queen and the Ghost. Even if he used the ability, it would have still hit the Queen. Okay, just going to play a Mother Witch at the back because we're a Mega Knight. Now, I think this guy actually has Lightning in his deck. Because of that, I can play Zappy's all down one lane. I'm going to Fishman in the Mega Knight here. Or not. Okay, and I did play that Skeleton King in time, but apparently I didn't. Going to lock it. Going to use my Skeleton King ability. Hopefully we can take his tower. Not quite. We are a fireball log away. That's honestly fine though. Going to fireball now, just so I don't forget. I'm going to scar me. I'm going to play my Skeleton King. I'm going to log. Going to use his ability. Going to play more Zappies. Boom. And this game went from being very scary to us having five Zappies on the board and a Skeleton King. What a turnaround. And that was a huge Mega Knight. Jeez. Okay. I take it back. We are now in trouble again. Nice pocket Archer Queen dude. Very skillful. Anyway, Skeleton King, Zappies. Come on, we need to take out that Mega Knight. Thank you. Just in time. This guy's just spamming down Mega Knights. Going to play my Fisherman. He's going to Lightning. Yeah, very predictable. Play Zappies for this Ram Rider. He's Snowball, so we can go in with a Skarmy. And then we can just RG at the bridge like this. Very aggressively. Going to play a Fisherman as well. Use the ability. And we're going to get some very nice damage. Going to play my Zappies again. Going to play my Mother Witch. Going to just cycle a log here. Going to play my king. Play my fisherman. Play my skarmy. Play my mother witch. Play my zappies. Cycle another log. Really making sure right now I don't overcommit too much. Going to go in with my RG. Final 15 seconds of the game. So yeah, him defending this is actually very bad because it doesn't really do anything. And we win. Good game. A tough matchup. A very popular deck. Plus 34 for that. Into another game. First play, we are going to play zappies. He plays a baby dragon. This could be golem. I'm not too sure. I'm just going to play it slowly. I'm going to play a fisherman at the bridge and he does go with a cage. So yeah, I'm definitely thinking he's golem right now. I'm going to play a mother witch at the back just so I'm not leaking and he's not golem at all. He is lava hound, which is very bad for me. So you have to play lava hound a very certain way and guess what? It's called you don't defend. I think this guy's actually lava clone. But yeah, this is going to look so weird for so many reasons, but you just don't defend. It's that simple. So we obviously tower traded, but yeah, lava hound is an ex extremely hard matchup. You only have two air counters, a Mother Witch and Zappies, and a lot of the time they have Fire Boots, so they can take out one of your air counters. It's not a good situation to be in, but guess what? We're going to three crown race him, and we're going to win, because he just went in as we went in. That's fantastic timing for us. He says good game already. He already knows he messed up. He done goofed, 
And guess what? That is how you beat Lava Hound. The most cheesiest way to win ever, but I will happily take it. Plus 34 for that. Okay, into another game here. And by the way, he split Wool Breakers. So I'm going to play my Mother Witch in the center here. It should turn them both into pigs. And he has Bomber. So obviously this guy's some sort of far cycle minor Wool Breaker deck. Goblin Drill. Okay, I'm going to play my Fisherman for this Bomber. My Skeleton King is going to take out the Drill. And he actually has Tesla, which is very bad for us. But he did just waste it. So that's actually going to be a good thing for us. I'm going to use the Skeleton King ability. I kind of knew he had Valkyrie, but I did that just so the Royal Giant could lock onto the tower and get some good damage. I also wasted my Log, which is actually a misplay. But hey, we live, we learn, we get better. I'm going to play a Fisherman. So this matchup isn't the easiest at all. That was well played. That's so bad for me. The Val Valkyrie is very good against my deck. It's just a Valkyrie shuts down the Skeleton King completely along with the ability. So even though he's kind of rushing me a lot down this left lane, I don't really care about it. I logged just to take off the guard shield, but yeah, I'm going to let majority of that damage just go. Going to cycle an RG at the back and he's doing the same thing thing man that's very annoying but hey we got a pig I'm going to play my skeleton king at the back i'm expecting a valkyrie so i'm ready to fisherman there it is going to fireball this as well going to log the guard shields obviously and we are going to play a skarmy for these wall breakers going to just play an rg and i'm going to use the ability of the skeleton king so he has to defend right now both lanes going to log this drill obviously and the rg gets a shot let's go again do not care about those bombs he's attacking my stronger tower which this is going to be a one tower game so really do not care about it you play the tesla so i'm going to cycle an rg at the back going to split my zappies going to log going to play my fisherman one bomb connected but that's fine couldn't really help that couldn't get my skeleton king down in time a bit unfortunate but that's fine because we have such a big push going right now going to use the ability going to play another rg and look how skillful i am rg locked onto the tower so that is good game but yo that's going to wrap it up for this video i really hope you guys enjoyed it here's the deck once again like i said i've been having a ton of success with it on ladder and i'm definitely one tricking it this season but yo i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure you guys give a like of course subscribe if you have not already as always make sure you guys take care brush your hair and peace out Woo!